Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I am on for my first second-hand haul for 2023. Got to get used to saying that, so I better practice. <laughs> so, Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I went to four second-hand stores. Well, it wasn't really 2023 when I purchased these items. I did dash out on the week in between Christmas and New Year's to see what was in the shops. So, we'll see what I grabbed. Now, I went to one shop and I grabbed most of what's in this first pile. And then I got to the counter and he charged me $1.70. <laughs> I think it's because I was nice to him last time I went. But, um, yeah, a bit weird. <laughs> so there's these counting fruit flashcards. I haven't looked at these yet, so we'll have a quick look. See if I can get into them. Stupid sticky tape. These are a bit cute. I like the flashcards, especially because I want to get making some of the um, little golden book journals. I think these would be the most cute ephemera for that sort of thing. Oh, okay. So they've got the numbers and they've got the fruit. I love these sides. They're really nice. Colourful. So they're quite sweet. There were these Alaska and Yukon playing cards. I thought that was different. I don't have any Alaskan ones. I love that side of them. And then they've got the pictures or the photographs on that side. So they're nice as well. There are a couple of Malaysian ones and they looked, the packets look vintage. So I'm hoping these are quite colourful as well. Oh yeah, so the picture's the same as what it is on the packet. So I'm quite happy with that. Very nice. And one would think these would be similar. I know, they have that picture on the front and then they've got photos. So something a bit different for my collection. I had to get one greeting card. Uh, this shop was charging individual prices for their cards. I don't tend to buy them now when they're like that unless there's specific themes that I'm looking for at the time. But this one was so cute and it was 20 cents. I hate how they stuck the price sticker on the actual picture. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, beautiful little card to slip into a pocket. So I grabbed that. It's so a little notepad. Roses. Love colour. There's this little packet of appliques. The owls sucked me in. So, sort of boho themed owls. Oh, I didn't know there were more owls. So, I've got four owls. And then we've got a camel. <laughs> a boho camel. So, I thought that was quite cool. Some more flashcards. Nice and cheap. This is ruined, you know, but can always use all the other ones. But I like the ones that don't necessarily have words or numbers or anything and they're just the pictures. And these look like they're sea themed, so that is quite neat. So I'll go through these and any that are really warped, I will see whether I want to fussy cut the picture out or just trash them and then keep the ones that are in good nick. Oh, 
I'm starting to get tired. Having a bit of a busy day. Been editing videos. Whenever I edit my videos, I want to go to sleep. Must be listening to my voice that does it. Um, Alphabet Wild Australia flashcards. I thought just because they're Australian themed that these might be cool. Which I don't know why I thought that because I do have I bought some games that have Australian nature cards in them. So I have stacks of Australian nature cards shoved away. But anyway, these were cheap. Because it was, yeah, I <laughs> got them for $1.70 anyway, the whole lot. Open that up. Maybe it was his way of saying Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to me. But he's always sitting there on his phone. So I said last time I went in there, I, I felt bad because I interrupted him sitting on his phone. I figured he was watching YouTube because that's what most of them are doing these days. An ant will eat an apple. Oh, they're cool. I like these. The bat beats its wings in the black of night. Yeah, they're really cool. I like them. Great pictures. Nice. So a pile of cards this time. Can I get it back in the box? just there was a book and it is a what bird is that one of my favorites look like an oldish one which i don't find very often these days so i had to grab it it's a big one too usually they're a lot smaller this one is 67 reprint but of course got the beautiful plates that i like fussy cutting from so and yeah these pages are nice to make ephemera with too Just gotta, it's hard to find the plates, but there, there we go. So I had to grab that, and so cheap. The books in that shop are 50 cents elsewhere, they're a lot more expensive. They had some cross stitch kits, and my daughter messaged me the other day asking if I had any cross stitch stuff I wanted to get rid of. And um, I'd only just really cleared out all my cross-stitch things, um, especially a whole lot of books and magazines, because I decided I didn't want to do any big ones anymore. I just wanted to do ones that I could fit into my journals and that. So she sort of caught me at the wrong time. I said, I don't really want to get rid of this stuff. And, you know, the cottons, you end up having to get so many of them. It costs a lot to build them up. So I said, you know, you can have them at your place and we'll just share them or whatever. So, um, but I sent her off with um, one of the kits that I've recently got that I've showed you guys in a previous video and she started making that one, the sunflower, and she's really enjoying that. So when I saw these, they're nice little ones. I thought I'd grab her this one, which is some flowers. They're like bell flowers of some sort. Looks like bookmarks. I think she'll have fun with that. And then I thought I'd grab myself these two. It's a... What do they call it? Some rooster thing. Oh, cockerel. Egg co cozy. But I think I'll just do it as a flat picture for a journaling card or something. And then there was this other one. That's an egg cozy too, yeah. A chicken one. Chicken and a cockerel. So I thought they were cool. So cheap. I think they had a dollar. Well, <laughs> like I said, I think they had three dollars on these. But they give me everything for dollar seventy. the naughty boy. Uh, there was this music paper. It's a very strange colour, though, but I thought, yeah, grab that. Something different for pages. And there was this material. It looks like a bed sheet, possibly. But it's beautiful. I think I'll tee a whole pile of that. Might leave some as it is. It looks vintage. And then um, dye a whole heap of it as well. But it's absolutely beautiful. So I grabbed that. And then I've got another big pile here. I'll start with the smaller bits. Uh, there were some doilies. There were lots of doilies. And it was um, at this shop. At, uh, this, it was the Salvos. And so it was discount day. And I grabbed some of the doilies that the ticket was half price. So 
and they don't often have nice ones because people have raided them already and grabbed all the good ones so but i liked some of the ones there so i've got that this was a set that came together and i love the size of these you could put them like that and it would look quite nice so i grabbed those through those love this one because it's got strawberries that one's a bit different this one's really pretty looks quite new this one that one's gorgeous this one looks newish as well but really nice It was this planner magnet set. Really love the colours on this. I love that little magnet too, butterfly there. But they'll be really nice to fold and put in some pockets or use as flips on pages or something like that. So I had these curtain tassels, but they're quite lightweight, it's smaller ones. So I'm thinking they might work nicely on covers or something in journals. Not sure, but anyway, I bought them because they were cheap. They were $2 at cheapest chips to begin with. I don't know how they make them for that, but um, they were a dollar at the salvos. These retro brown craft paper candy bags. I thought they were a nice size to use. And I like the little sort of label that's printed on the front as well. So I've grabbed those. These, can't wait to have a look at these. Ponies at play, they're note cards and envelopes. Oh, they have to stick everything together. I sort of understand though, because the kids can get hold of them and they end up everywhere and make a big mess, but it's so annoying because you can't check things out before you buy them. And I should have taken this off before I started filming, but. Me open up without taking the other side off. I don't know. Oh, look at those, they're gorgeous. They're really pretty for a horse journal. And then it looks like the envelopes are just your plain white ones. Those cards are definitely worth it. And the box is really nice quality too. Great for some storage. There was this address book. Now, I have a few address books that I am going to use just for ephemera and that. But I've been, I've been going through the ones I've got here to find one that I want to use for my personal use for people's addresses. Because I have a bad habit of losing people's addresses. So, um, yeah, but I keep looking for one because a lot of the ones I have, they're very flimsy or they're too small and I need a fair bit of room to write the information. This one's really good. It's got heaps of room and I wanted one that I could open up and lie flat while I write in and that. So I saw this and I thought that is great and I like the look of it. So I grabbed that one for myself to use. So no more excuses for losing people's addresses. Uh, next is... Stuff. Oh. So there were two of these border punches. I do have a couple of the kits. I think these will fit into. These are Franchville or whatever Frenchville, Frenchville ones. But I think they look like the shape that will fit into some of the tools that I've got here. Not sure if I've got that one or not, but I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. And that looks really cool. Uh, Kaiser, a Kaiser Cutter blade for scalloped edge. I keep picking those up because I find them cheap in the second-hand stores. So I think I might as well grab them for my Kaiser Cutter. There were these, I assume they're handkerchiefs. They look like giant handkerchiefs. They're quite cheap and I think these would be beautiful pages that are cutting down or pockets or whatever. In journals, I think more than one. Oh, wow, there's heaps. I thought it was like three, but it looks like there's one, two, three, four. Is it four of each colour? No, four blue ones, two pink ones, and one, two, three, five orangey yellow ones. 
That's heaps more than I thought. I thought for, yeah, botanical journals and that spring style journals, that would be really pretty. I mean, they're the more modern ones than that that I don't necessarily like, but Shanghai. But yeah, they were nice and cheap for that many. So that was a bargain, which would make up for the cost of this because this was expensive. But yeah, nice white frame. I was looking for white frames when I was putting some pictures up in my craft room and I couldn't find any anywhere, not even new. <laughs> so I thought, well, not A4 ones, so when I saw this, though this looks like full scap size, I thought I'd grab it. Uh, they had a whole lot of the, they're clearing out Christmas stuff. So they had a whole lot of these, um, oh, these Christmas papers um, and paper toll ones and that. So I thought I'd just grab a couple of the ones that spoke to me. So they were a dollar each. So I grabbed that one with the cute angels, the cherubs. And this Father Christmas, he looked quite vintage. That one's definitely paper toll, as is that one. So they'll be fun to put away for next year. And this huge thing is Chinese Brush Painting Studio. So it's got some paints, some brushes, a little spoon thing. I don't know what that's for. And in there is the instruction book as well. Now, I do have a Chinese Brush Painting Kit here already. But I thought between both of them... Well, they probably cost so much new, and so I grab them from the second shops and I can just have a bit of fun with them sometime because I really love the style of your Chinese brush painting. It would be fun, I think, to give it a go sometime. You know, it looks simple. I doubt it is, <laughs> but it would be fun. So now I've got a couple of kits that I can mess around with and have a go. Yeah, beautiful. So that's going to be fun. Now, while I was out and about, I did stop in at Spotlight because, of course, they have their after Christmas sales stuff going on. I was trying to avoid it, but... Yeah, I did get just this out of the Christmas stuff. There was a load of rubbish in there, really. So it's a placemat. I had so much fun chopping up a placemat for my last journal that I did that I thought I'd grab that. They had 75% off, so, so I'll be chopping that one up next year, no doubt. Very pretty. And I don't often buy scrapbook papers new. But I don't know if it was Valida. She'd shown a few that she's um, got from a spotlight recently of the floral ones. And it's made me go, ooh, ah. <laughs> so I had a look at the ones there. And I think I contained myself pretty well. And I got this one, Pretty Petals. I won't do a flip through. You can sort of see the style there. Very nice. Sort of old world charm ones. So I thought that would be beautiful to add to my collection of papers that I hoard. <laughs> and then I grabbed this one. There was one that was Galaxy, which had some really nice Galaxy pictures and that, but it also had some astronauts and that, which I don't know. Maybe I should have got that one, I don't know. And this one's Nebula. So I got this one. Um, I do know someone that likes Galaxy colours. I want to make her a journal one day, whether I ever get around to it or not, or not, I don't know. So I thought I'd grab that just in case I do. And then the last thing I got was from Marketplace. Now, that spotlight stuff wasn't secondhand stuff, but I thought I'd just show it anyway. Um, yeah, so Marketplace. A lady was advertising bag of buttons. <laughs> I know I don't need any more buttons. But um, I saw a few nice ones that I thought might go nice in the middle of flowers. And it was $5. Now, it's so hard to see the, on the picture how big the bag was. So I was really happy when I got there and I saw that it was this big. Because it's bigger than I thought. 
So very, very, very happy with that. I think it was well worth the $5, especially because lately the shops are just packing like 10 or 20 black buttons into a bag and charging two, three dollars for it. So um, to get those pretty ones, you know, ends up costing a lot usually. Oh yeah, and that's, look how many are there. That's heaps. Oh, there's beads too. Might just stick the beads back in the bag before they roll away. I was going to sort them out with you, but I think, um, I think that will put you to sleep and it will take forever. So I'll just spread them out. Have a quick look at some of them. That sort of one for the middle of flowers, I thought. Grab it for that sort of thing. Look at that beautiful one too. So there's some interesting ones. That's the sun. The face of the sun. And we've got some vintage ones there. huge ones so yes I'll be sitting down after if I want to pop out in the garden in a minute before it gets dark do a bit of gardening this one's Egypt style that's really cool I'll pop out in the garden for a bit and then I'm going to come in and sort these out which will be fun that one will be cool in the middle of a flower same with that one That's a bag of fun, isn't it? I've got to like re-sort, well not re-sort, but um, just move my buttons around a bit because I've um, emptied out a container that I think I'll be able to move some of them into just so I can store them a bit better. That one's neat too. Yeah, that was definitely worth the money, that was. There's a lot of variety and interesting ones. I hope you enjoyed all of that. I certainly enjoyed getting out and having a look around, exercising a bit. Although I go for a walk around and get all this exercise in all the op shops and then I go to the bakery and get a pie and a cream cake. So they're beautiful, those ones. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Be good, have fun crafting, and I will see you again soon. Bye.